The blue stripe, the mighty force. I selected and trained those men myself. True, there were good days and bad. But they weren't even given the chance to die in combat. You also lost your king, Vernon. Don't forget why you embarked on this mission. I haven't. If Letho and Sheila are in, not me. They'll never leave. This is the last place I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Yeah, we also had a little disagreement recently. They could be holding a grudge. I'll explain that your presence in Loch Muin is necessary. What now? What can we expect to see in the city? Separate camps, buffer zones, and frequent patrols. Well, that's how it should be organized if those mages from the Conclave have any sense. Ah, another area of your expertise. The Peace of Sintra was signed on April the 2nd, and all around was quiet, calm, and orderly. If you don't count Hensel's rules and the all-night festivities of the Mahakam Volunteer Army, and the common folk were positively thrilled with the parade that followed. Yet, not one of those fuckers even knew that I, and a few others like me, spent a week poring over the city map and devising a way to keep those crowned idiots separate, just in case one decided to deal the next blow in a long-standing feud. In any case, I hope to see something similar here. Relax. The mages want royal gold. They'll make sure all the sources of financing remain alive and present, at least until the inevitable quarrel over the Pontar Valley breaks out. Well, we'll see if there is indeed a way where there's a will. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. Halt! Who goes there? Vernon Roach, in the service of the Kingdom of Temeria. Pass through, then. One more thing. The Witcher Geralt of Rivia is with me. I trust you'll let him pass if he turns up. We're to let Faltest's killer through. I'm after the real murderer. It was Geralt who put me on his trail? If you say so. None of our concern. Temeria's internal affairs. Halt! And who might you be? That's Geralt of Rivia, the man I mentioned. So you did. Question is, where's the truth in all this? Everyone says the Witcher killed Foltest. You're the only one claiming he didn't. Vernon is pathologically honest. It's his main flaw. Your sense of humor's still intact, I see. Shame it's just awkward, given the situation. What exactly are you doing here? That's none of your concern. Be along with you. Looks like Radovid doesn't believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Not a soul is to be trusted in this city. Not a soul to be trusted any time, anywhere, period. We need to assess Geralt the situation. Rivian. Whoever stationed the knights at Loch Muin's gates is likely to know the most and to have the upper hand. I'm going to the Redanian camp. If you want to look around, I'll meet you near Radovid's headquarters. All right. Hush. True, true. So many crowned heads in one place. Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? Representatives of the Council of Regents. Did any come with you? Only Baron Kimbolt and Count Marival. The other five remain in Vizima. It seems that save Baron Orval, most spend their time trying to devise a way to undermine Anais's claim to the throne. Kimbolt and Marival. What's their stance? Well, they've taken opposing positions, as one might expect. The Baron believes Anais's origin, if you will, stands in the way of her taking the throne. Though it's common knowledge that he would simply prefer to seat himself on it. Whereas Marivelle has said that Foltest's children have his full support. He stated this in Vizima before the entire council. One thing is certain, words come cheap. Those two may change their minds in a flash if Anais is found and recovered. Impressive summit, but not all the players have their representatives here. The most important do. The Mages thought about inviting everyone, but time is short. What about Edern? It's a huge country. Torn by conflict and rebellion with no clear ruler. They're not to be taken seriously at this point. 
Sounds like the Ketweni point of view. The Adernians see it differently, I'm sure. The mages will want to get as much as they can out of this summit, and monarchs don't generally like others dictating terms. This may end in a row. There will be no row. The mages now rely on the mercy of the Northern Kingdoms. The amphitheater itself is also protected by an anti-magic shield, like the one used at Thanid. The times of mage impunity are gone. They will be shown their place. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witch's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Fortest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. I didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever, my kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. What'll happen to Temeria? Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Faultist, or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, spare me your courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. I know what I care about. That's why I asked. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Faultest. Out of remembrance for him. I haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance. Aside from the rewards on my head. They'd have hanged you if not for the testimony of little Anais. So the girl finally talked. Whoever that monk was, to me, he was just like you. I didn't kill Foltest. That's just one of the things that makes us different. Really? What else? Honor? Principles? I'm a witcher. I don't kill humans for coin. Are you certain it's not just a question of price? Tell me, Geralt. What were you doing at Faltest's side that unfortunate day? I was doing the right thing. You wouldn't ask that question if I was an ordinary soldier. But you're not. You're not a soldier. You're not even a Temerian. You're a paid thug. Even if you refuse to acknowledge it. That murky set of principles, values call them. You cast them in the nearest corner when the price is right. I'm not for sale. I'm not talking about coin, Witcher. As a freak, you want what you're most often denied. Camaraderie, respect, love. It is for those things that you scale walls and murder innocents. That is your price. They say there are no innocents at war. Indeed. At war, there is but the cause you fight for. A higher calling. Though they also say war is a refuge for the cursed. An asylum for those stripped of heart and soul. A higher calling. Beautiful concept. Except I remember the knights who stormed Lavalette Castle. Highborn men fighting atop high walls. They were out to kill for fame, fortune, and pure enjoyment. I was also at Vergen, where simple soldiers went into battle clutching false relics to their breast, knowing that death awaited them if they deserted. They owed it to their king. If there's one thing I love about being a Witcher, it's that I never have to draw my sword on someone else's command. I tire of this discussion, Witcher. Get to the point or leave. I take it you sit on the Council of Regents? Not for much longer. Why is that? The Council will become obsolete. Temeria is a country one rules with a crown on one's head. Or not at all. A lot of people are out to don that crown. But few have the right. As Fultis's cousin, the throne should be mine. Or the royal daughters, Anais Lavalette's. Dark will be the day when we are ruled by bastards. The nobles have decided to share power. You said it yourself, Baron. In a crown or not at all. Temeria will be divided into provinces. 
A shameful end to the monarchy. A shameful end to the country. Hey. Ah, <laughs> Geralt of Rivia, I am delighted to see you among the living and the free. Are you serious, Count? Such an injustice to lock you up without so much as a hearing. And then the beatings, the torture, it's barbaric, I tell you. Based on pure prejudice, the presumption of guilt. Actually, if I'd seen what they saw... Uh, but alas, such is my homeland, filled with fear and thus ruthless, cold as stone, dark and severe in aura and mindset. I suppose there's some truth to that. A response at once cautious and reasonable. Admirable qualities in and of themselves positively required in your profession. If you say so. But tell me, Witcher, what brings you here? Are you nipping at the heels of Foltest's killer, close to beheading the wretch as I expect is your style? Do you require my assistance? I just have some questions, Count. Well, ask away by all means. I am finding you a skilled, if slightly reticent, conversationalist. I've got to say you stand out, Count. I'm flattered, I suppose, but what specifically do you mean? I haven't quite put my finger on it, but take a look around. Would you say you resemble your countrymen? I thank the gods I do not. It is because I love my homeland that I am the first to note its faults, and they are many. Care to elaborate? Hypocrisy, superstition, lack of learning. Need I go on? If you wouldn't mind. Take you witches, for instance. The gods know we suffer a plague of beasts. Pre-conjunction, post-conjunction, magically bred and sprung from rotting marshes and the dark abysses of our land. No such thing as pre-conjunction creatures. Uh, you bite unnecessarily. We have but one remedy for this plague, dwindling in numbers as it may be. Yet it is a remedy we revile. You are shunned spat upon, turned away on stormy nights. Would you say this is reasonable? It's the way of things. Spoken like a true representative of a dying species. What brings you to Loch Muin? Concern for my country, Witcher, and an express and somewhat surprising request from Constable Natalis. Surprising? How so? Surely you jest, Witcher. Truth be told, few could marshal loyal forces matching mine on such short order, a Baron Kimbolt accepted. Yet, though I very much held Foltest's trust, I cannot say that many of my Temerian peers feel the same way. Why do you suppose that is? They resent me. I share neither their customs nor their beliefs. Shan't regret it. I'm collecting information about the Wild Hunt. Help me out. The Wild Hunt? A retinue of wraiths who speed across the heavens upon skeletal horses. Positive proof of its existence has yet to be proffered. However, no one is prepared to deny its occasional sorties into this world. Proffered? Sorties? That, at least, is what I remember from the lectures. Godspeed, Witcher. Understood. How are things? You're either very unobservant or very rude. I thought I'd meet some of my colleagues from years past, chat with them and reminisce, but they all turn their heads away and treat me like air. Mages aren't known for being polite. You're telling me. They threw me out of Bannard the first chance they got. Must have beaten the Chancellor one too many times. They've all forgotten me, and I believe I've had enough. I'm getting rid of the grimoires and amulets. I don't want anything to do with mages. I'd like to cast an eye at those if you don't mind. Sure. Cast both if you want. Anything on the wild hunt in your collection? I'd avoid the topic altogether. Nothing good has ever come to those who have delved. I'll take my chances. I need to know why the wraiths carry off youths. What happens to them? This knowledge has never been recorded. Which does not mean it cannot be acquired. Well, I'd like to acquire it. 
In the chasms beneath Loch Muin, there is a sword that once belonged to an elf from the parallel world. And nobody's gone to look for it? There are mages who seek it still, but the sword is well concealed. They say he who handles it will understand the essence of the wild hunt. Could that be true, though? Come back for a game sometime. I'm Geralt, Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. On the contrary, I find Elven ruins interesting. Do you really? Elven works are not half as interesting as gnomish ones. But even ruined, Loch Muin is impressive. It must have been beautiful in the times of the First Conclave. Everything was better before the war, as they say. The sources. Those children that old Geoffrey Monk brought here to train in the magic arts must have walked around gaping at all they saw. Somehow I just can't imagine Hen Gedimdeeth as a small gawking boy. You met him? Ah, right, upon Thanet. His death was a terrible loss. Terrible. You see, Geralt, everyone complains about how the world is taking a turn for the worse. Values are being compromised. The small is dislodging the great. Exactly. But the events on Thanet truly marked the end of an era. The world grew up, losing its virginity in a rape. What use are masters of magic and legendary heroes to a grown-up world? They're of no use. That's the point. Today, people manage perfectly well without mages, witches, and heroes. Yet not everyone understands that, and not everyone likes it. You're so clever, you'll get in trouble. We'd best change the subject. I'm interested in the Wild Hunt. Any chance you know something about it? Uh... <laughs> no, birds are not exactly my speciality. Thanks. Ready for your chat with Radovid. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm, pass then, if your news is so important. But one word from the King and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Mm. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I take pleasure in seeing Kedwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos, so you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Did you request an audience with the King? Yes. The King will receive you. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. 
Kedwin has taken the Ponsar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensalt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence, I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. Enough about Hensalt. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Hensult invited them. Shillard Fitzestelen would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. If Tamaria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Has King Henselt arrived? <sighs> He's been talking about his great victory at Vergen ever since. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelen warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Tamaria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Temeria separates the north from Nilfgaard. In the hands of local barons and warlords, it will be nothing more than a means for the Nilfgaardian cavalry to gain momentum. Hensult wants Redania and Kedwin to partition it. For shame! I have no choice, unless we help each other, Witcher. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orville, became one of the most important people in Tamaria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt and I'll salvage a united Temeria, and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian king's blood. What about Sheila? Easy, Witcher. I have ways to deal with impertinent sorceresses. I have managed to tame Philippa Eilhart. Why shouldn't I do so with Sheila de Tanzerville as well? The girl is most important, Witcher. 
I denounce our engagement and make her queen of Redania and Tamaria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the north would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. <laughs>